we're going to be tying a giant Helgramite that you should have in your fly box this spring. To start, we'll attach some tan thread to our hook shank and create a small buildup around the eye of the fly. Grab some brown biots, select two fibers and place them in a V formation, securing them to the head of the fly. Secure tightly to your hook shank and snip the excess free. Cover your tag ends and whip finish to hold it in place. Snip your thread free and slide the bead back to the head of the fly, at which point we'll reattach our thread, snipping the excess free. And grab some lead-free wire. Insert the wire into the bead and secure tightly with your thread. Helicopter the excess free and continue wrapping the thread well into the bend of the hook. Here, we'll create another thread dam, just as we did at the head of the fly, that'll help splay out our biots. Place two more biots at the back of the fly and secure them with your thread. We'll then grab some straggle string, which is essentially sparsest as, secure it to our hook shank, wrapping back towards the tail. With this complete, we'll set it aside and grab some tan dubbing. Here I'm using a synthetic blend. Create a dubbing noodle and begin wrapping this in closed touching spirals, tightening and adding more dubbing as needed. We'll continue doing so until we reach just past our hook point. With this complete, we'll grab our straggle string and begin to counter wrap the dubbing until we reach our thread, at which point we'll secure, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and snipping the excess free. We'll then grab our dubbing brush and brush it out to give it a nice buggy look. Wrap your thread to the bead and grab some mylar. Here I'm using pearl. Secure the mylar strip to the head of the fly, wrapping back towards your dubbing. Returning the thread forward, we'll then grab a turkey tail. I get asked where I get my materials all the time, and like this turkey tail, many of them are gathered from hunting trips. Many of you don't know this, but I actually have a second channel that has hundreds of hours of both fishing and hunting related content. You can check that out in the comments below. With this complete, we'll grab this cool set of legs and secure them to the top of the fly. Don't worry too much about how the leg placement looks because we'll be fixing that in the next step. Just focus on securing it tightly. Grab some more dubbing, create a dubbing noodle, and use the dubbing, both dubbing the body and also taking care to position the legs how you'd like. Take your time with this and create a transition towards the head of the fly. Once complete, fold over your turkey tail, secure in place, followed by your mylar. Secure them both tightly taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and snipping the excess free. Whip finishing to hold everything in place. Snip your thread free and grab some thin UV resin, painting it over the back of your fly. Secure with the UV light and brush everything out to give it a nice buggy look. And this is a Helgramite imitation. I find they work exceptionally well in the spring and if these are in your waters, you should definitely give it a try. Subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one.